loving memory of my bank. Today I wanted to announce that I shop even more and my bank is on the verge of going to a negative zone. So I light up this candle right here hoping that things will be better for everyone, for my bank, for myself, for my closet, shopping habit. So for today's video, I'll be showing you guys what I bought from Essence for the past few months. I know I made a haul recently and my collective haul uh, featured a lot of items from different websites, uh, including Essence. But for today's video, I'll be showing you guys items that I bought from Essence only. You know me, I'm always on the hunt for new pants. So when I saw these Philip Lim wide cut trousers, I decided to get them right away. The original price was $375, but I got them for only $75. They were on sale for 80% off and they had it in my size. This is why I love Essence so much. Um, I am really satisfied with how they fit and look on me. The fabric is really, really nice, and the cut of these pants is perfect. I can show you the detail on the bottom of the pants. So this is the hem right here. As you can see, it's very wide. And it's like a straight cut. So Philip Lim is one of my favorite brands, so when I see their pants on sale, I have to get them. In my last haul, I talked to you guys about the brand Random Identities. I bought another item from them and this time it is a white rubber shirt. I hate, okay, this is my opinion, but I hate rumbers for men, um, just in general. But this rumber is so different. There is something about it that is so futuristic nurse like vibe from this romper that's why i like it and although the fit is a little bit off on my body i don't know but i will definitely figure out a way to make this fit better on my body this brand is literally uh, my favorite the designer used to be the creative director for ysl so if you are a fan of uh, ysl please um, check out the brand, check out his work. He is amazing and you know, I am so excited to wear this. Also, I would like to mention that the zipper works both ways. So if you need to pee, you can just uh, unzip from bottom to the top. So you don't have to take your whole romper off just to pee. Oh my god, I just love this romper so much. I look like I'm one of the astronauts or something like that. There's something about this romper that just... Next, I got this Acne Studios t-shirt. I rarely wear t-shirts by the way because I really don't like showing my arms. But this t-shirt is an exception. I figure that I need a blank YT in my closet. A Y top that would go with any bottom. No wonder why there are so many bottoms looking for a wide top on Grinder. Anyways, I love the length of this t-shirt and my favorite part of this tee is definitely the mock neck. Okay guys, I did not notice that the shirt is also a little see-through, so just FYI. This is totally random, but you know how I have makeup all over my face and when I try on my clothes, I really don't want to get my clothes dirty, especially this one. This one is a mock neck, so it's definitely hard for me to put it on or take it off without getting my makeup on the neck. But I have a trick that I just figure out myself. Maybe I'm new to this, but so what you're gonna do is, so I'm gonna put this over my head like this. Now I'm going to take 
the two shirts off. Yep. My acne t-shirt is still clean. No makeup. I'm such a loser. <laughs> so after I got the t-shirt, I decided to find a cute pair of bicycle shorts to wear with it. I got these bicycle shorts from Adidas by Alexander Wang. Um, I love these shorts so much. The fit is amazing. It gives my butt a lift for free without a beauty surgeon. Um, the fabric is very soft and super duper comfortable when I wear them. Ew, super duper. That is such a disgusting combination. Um, the fabric is very soft and super comfortable when I wear them. The only complaint I have is that the leg could have been a little tighter. But other than that, everything about this pair of shorts makes me happy. They're like loose right here. I wish that they were just like, you know, tight on the bottom. I also forgot to talk about the design right here on the shorts. So in case you wanna see. So the last item that I got from Essence is this pair of shoes also from Adidas. They are these ZX4000 sneakers, if I'm not wrong. Um, I bought these hoping that they will be big and chunky like the last pair that I bought um, earlier in the year, but they are a little bit smaller than expected. However, the colors and the details of these shoes are so pretty, so I decided to keep them. I wore these once and they are super easy to walk in. The shoes are super light, not heavy at all. Um, I also owe another pair of Adidas and I have to say that if you want to go for style and comfort, definitely pick Adidas. But if you are looking for a cute pair of shoes for the gym, then I would recommend Nike. So this is what it looks like. Up close and personal. I love the details, especially right here. Okay, so if you can see right here, this one is the one that I bought a while ago. Also, I'm from Essence. They look similar in structure. Um, so when I was looking at these online, I thought that um, they would fit the same way as this shoe. But turn out these are a little smaller than this one right here. So I have a pair of chunky Adidas. Now I can have another pair that is not chunky at all. That's totally fine. With that being said, um, those are the five things that I bought from Essence this time around. I know that this is a smaller haul than usual. I hope you guys enjoy watching this video. And if you have any questions, please let me know. Give this video a like. Um, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Oh, and by the way, if you did not know, I was, I'm dressing up today for the funeral of my bank. Yeah, because I've been spending too much money. So... Thank you.